he also believes that space cooperation plays in the hand of the entire humanity, particularly of the countries and the powers as the United States and Russia. Uh, we were only sorry that we didn't start this earlier. Let, let me try the really tricky part of this now and get the two spacecraft to speak to one another. Would you on the mirror, uh, particularly Dr. Polyakov, would you like to speak to your friend uh, Sergei Krikalov aboard the Discovery and what would you like to say? Well, we have flown for a long time with Sergei and we have spoken a lot. I just wanted to wish him successful work among his American colleagues and a safe return to Earth and a safe landing and future meetings. Sergei? Sergei. Uh, greetings. I hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Okay. Why are you speaking English to us? Have you forgotten Russian? <laughs> That's actually the translator, I should tell the folks on here. Thank you, thank you. Now we get it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, I'm already getting used to it. I think uh, I'm a career Marine. I've, I'm still an active duty Marine. I've been in, in the Marine Corps for more than 25 years. Uh, however, having the experience of meeting people like Sergei Krikalov here and uh, his backup, Vladimir Titov, um, and finding out what I knew in my heart all along is that uh, people are just people, no matter where they happen to come from, and that if we take time to try to understand uh, our cultural differences and uh, let that be our, our guide as we decide how we're going to deal with each other, as opposed to uh, harboring uh, 